Thank you very much. Uh, so by taking a systems approach to transforming education, GPE catalyzes domestic finance and, and in three ways, by focusing on volume and on efficiency and on equity. So let me just focus on the efficiency and equity for now. So when we think about efficiency, what we're saying is it's not enough just to spend money. It has to be done efficiently. And GPE estimates that about one third of the funding that is spent through education budgets is inefficient. And you know, in a time of learning crisis, that is just unacceptable. So we work with governments to find those opportunities for efficiencies. Things like you know, modernizing a payroll system. Now, many people might say, well, that's not transformational. But in fact, it is because it frees up resources that can then be reinvested into learning. So this is a, an important area uh, for, for us to keep moving and finding these kind of solutions. But you know, based on past trends, GPE partner countries could save $16 billion solely by, through efficiencies. You know, $16 billion through 2025. That is huge amount of money that would help uh, solve a lot of the education challenges. But while I'm also talking about efficiencies, I think we also have to talk about debt. You know, it's been raised multiple times uh, during this pre-summit. Uh, and you know, with your leadership, the, uh, the education ministers uh, of the GPE board issued a communique in which they uh, identify debt as one of the chief concerns. And it's well taken why they raised this. Because you know, more than 30 GPE partner countries uh, have uh, uh, spent about a half or more of their budgets on debt repayment. So again, a massive piece of their budget is going out the door, not into uh, teaching children. Now, we don't have any silver bullets on this. I can only say that GPE is exploring uh, innovative approaches to lowering the repayment costs in exchange for increased investment in learning. And finally, on equity. You know, this is probably the most trans uh, transformational piece we can do. But it's about prioritizing national budgets to reach the most disadvantaged, whether they are girls, whether they're children with disabilities, uh, remote communities, or refugees. And so this is a, a cri critical issue. So let me give you one example, uh, and then I'll finish. So GPE helps governments uh, by hardwiring equity and gender equality into their budgets. And then we also support them in finding the data that supports their decision making. Now in Nepal, the government working with GPE, working with the uh, World Bank and UNICEF, uh, they came up with an equity index that helps them target the, those regions that were most disadvantaged. And so they, by doing that, by focusing the resources in those regions, they were able to reduce the out-of-school children by 60%. We know that government budgets are under tremendous strain uh, from multiple sides, multiple issues, and so there really is no one key um, silver bullet, if you will. But we do know that it is important, and it, the, really the key to transformation is that we all work together to solve the problem. Now, what does this look like? We're talking about all the partners coming together under leadership of government to identify those opportunities and efficiency and equity, and then aligning all of our efforts, all our resources, our mechanisms behind that effort, behind that priority for the government to achieve uh, uh, results at scale. That's, I think, where we need to go.